thing everybody remembers or recalls is the roar of the water. You know, you could hear that roar of the water miles away before you even got by the place and all of a sudden you come upon it. There was this beautiful mist where there was the sound of the water. You can hardly hear yourself think when you get down there and you have to yell to be heard. Slyla Falls made a terrific lot of noise when you got close to it. That's when it's exciting. That, that's when it's really good. It was almost as if you weren't aware at first, but then you became quite immersed in the sound, which was like a pulse. I've stayed there for hours and just listened to it. Picture yourself on a scaffold, that, that water flowing that fast. Would you get dizzy and fall down? Is this scaffold going to hold me? <laughs> How many people can it hold? The smell of salmon was everywhere. Um, salmon was everywhere. You had it on your clothes. You wore it home with you. You had it in your hair, your hands. You just smelled salmon for weeks and months. You'd see fish from sunrise to sunset. That's all you just eat. You know breathe, live, you're, you're, you're a real fisherman. Can you imagine that, just grabbing that fish, bringing it back up, do that all day long? It was a beautiful sight to see, it just was. I mean, there was people everywhere. There was a few tourists, and mostly there was just Indians, and they were pulling those fish out and hauling them up to the warehouse, and. Uh, I get lost in those memories, I really do. <laughs> My wife got kind of disgusted with me because I think I believe I spent more time up there saliva with the Indians than I did with her. But uh, I don't regret it because it's, uh, I got to do more and see more than most people and, uh, and I think I, I enjoyed it. One of the most famous pictures that I've taken is a Chief Tommy Thompson and his wife Flora and his granddaughter Linda. This picture was taken when I was six years old overlooking Celilo Falls. It's sad to see this picture because that was the last time I took a pose with my grandparents overlooking Celilo. It's hard for me to explain right now. They, they thought it would be nice to have their picture taken overlooking Celilo because they know it would not be there and it would be covered up. When they built the dam, there was no environmental impact study, no cultural study. You had the Eisenhower administration, you had the Red Scare, so they wanted uh, dams to make electricity to make aluminum plants and people did it in the name of progress. There wasn't any stopping it. There were some protests and, and of course a great deal of unrest and dissatisfaction and sadness among the Indian people, but they're just, they were juggernauts. <laughs> government basically told the tribes you have one of two choices either you settle with us or we condemn you and they said as long as the river will flow and the falls will be there the Indians will always be able to fish and it did not come to pass <laughs> Thank you.
The head of the Corps of Engineers came down there and told uh, Tommy Thompson and uh, the leaders down there, he said, don't worry, Chief. He says, you'll have more salmon than you ever had. Chief Tommy can go on spearing the Royal Chinook in the tumultuous roar of Salila Falls. The salmon are going through. It was one of our clear, cloudless days. And the people were out there to see it. Because I think that uh, they wanted to see something that was never going to be seen again. My dad was working on the railroad. He took me out of school, brought me in the car over here, and I remember watching the water come up and it was like a bad dream, like, could this really happen, you know? Well, these slides that you see was taken by my Uncle Ray Percy. And he hated to see the falls go down. It would never be seen again, and I think he's the only one that took pictures of it actually going under. It must have been very painful to see, um, to have that roar drowned out by a man-made event. Must have been very painful. I couldn't go to watch the falls being flooded because my grandma didn't want me to see it. All I seen was tears like they did when it, when it was flooded. I think my tears were just like, like the flood. I cried even though I was little and not knowing much, but when I seen those falls being flooded, my heart broke too, like my grandfather. It really makes me almost tear up. And I look at that thing and the water's coming in there and there she goes. It's over with. Really makes you cry. It's gone. My generation, we know what Salado is, and uh, millions of people in the United States of my generation knows what Salado and all the people before me. But it's a new generation, new last two generations that do not know much about Salado. I always wonder, where were the big cliffs at? Where, where are these big scaffolds at? Where are all the fish? Where's the main tributary they're going to try and go up? Where's, where did they catch the most fish? How many fish did they catch? How many in a day? How many in a month? There's just so many questions that, you know, this is what's gone. So those are things that I'll never know, but... And you could pick, a, pick up a book or look at a picture. People my age can try and get that out of books, magazines, uh, talking to elders, but we'll never know that as they did. And I think that's a tragedy. All I see is pictures of Celilo. I wish we could bring it all back. Live the life I had when I was little. Live free, you know. Swim like the salmon, you know. Go forward. It's hard to not look back.
but memories are hard to forget. I'm going to miss that. And as of today, I do. I still miss that. I'd like to go back and see those falls again, but that's never going to happen. It's a time in history that's gone forever. I'm deeply sorry that the Slido is, uh, is covered because I enjoyed it and it's the only place in the United States, and, but I'm just one individual. Mm It's almost turning to a legend. It's not around anymore. It really isn't. But we have that imprinted in our head, handed down what it used to be like. The filling of Salilo Falls destroyed a lifestyle, it just almost destroyed a race. And everyone should be mindful of that for the future. We should never do that to anyone again. Dozen by young beggar, young beggar, young beggar, one in a dozen by.